In this lesson, we will use Desmos.com to determine the probability of a sum from a sample and also determine a sum that is 1.5 standard deviations above the mean of the sums. To begin, let's review the central limit theorem for sums. The central limit theorem for sums says if you keep drawing more and more samples of size n with a large enough n and taking their sums, the sums form their own distribution, the sampling distribution, which approaches a normal distribution as the sample size increases. The normal distribution has a mean equal to the original mean multiplied by the sample size, indicated by n times mu sub x, and the standard deviation is equal to the original standard deviation multiplied by the square root of the sample size, indicated by the square root of n times sigma sub x. So going back to our example, let's begin by determining the mean of the sums as well as the standard deviation of the sums. We will indicate the mean of the sums as mu sub the sum of x, which is equal to n, the sample size of 50, times the mean of the original distribution, which is 88. 50 times 88 is equal to 4,400. And now we will find the standard deviation of the sums indicated by sigma sub sum of x, which is equal to the square root of n, which is the square root of the sample size, where the square root of 50, times the standard deviation of the original distribution, which is 12, which gives us 12 square root 50, which does simplify, but there's no need to simplify. And now for part A, we're asked to find the probability that the sum of the 50 values is less than 4,350, which we can indicate as the probability that the sum of x is less than 4,350. And now let's go to desmos.com, graph the distribution of the sums, then determine the probability. To begin, go to desmos.com, click graphing calculator, click show keypad in the lower left hand corner, click functions, click the distributions tab, click normal distribution. Now we enter the mean and standard deviation. Again, the mean is 4,400, comma, the standard deviation is 12, square root 50. Now we click the zoom fit button, which is the magnifying glass in cell one. And now we have a nice distribution of the sums. Next, we will click the find cumulative probability box in cell one. Notice by default, the min is negative infinity, the max is positive infinity, which results in all the area under the curve being shaded, which is equal to one. And now to find the probability that the sum of x is less than 4,350, we leave the minimum at negative infinity and change the maximum to 4,350, again because we have the sum of x less than 4,350. Let's close the Desmos keypad. Notice how the area under the curve to the left of 4,350 is shaded, and the probability is shown at the bottom of cell one to four decimal places, we have 0 0.2778, which is equal to 27.78%. For B, we're asked to find the probability that the sum is between 4,300 and 4,450, which is the probability that the sum of x is greater than 4,300 and less than 4,450. So going back to the graph, we change the minimum to 4,300 and change the maximum to 4,450. Close the Desmos keypad. Notice how the area below the curve is shaded between 4,300 and 4,450, which represents the probability we are looking for. The bottom of cell one to four decimal places, we have 0 0.6029, which is equal to 60.29%. For part C, we're asked to find the sum that is 1.5 standard deviations above the mean of the sums. 
So the sum we are looking for, the sum of little x, is equal to the mean of the sums, which is 4,400. Looking at our notes, looking at our notes below, this is indicated by n times mu sub x, and then we have plus the z-score, which is 1.5, because the sum we are looking for is 1.5 standard deviations above the mean of the sums, and then we have times the standard deviation of the sums, which is 12 square root 50, which below is indicated by the square root of n times sigma sub x. Now going back to the calculator, we can click in cell 2 and enter 4,400 plus 1.5 times 12 square root 50. Enter, which the one decimal place is approximately 4,527.3. I hope you found this helpful.